Hello, all of you lovely individuals. Welcome back to another video for the day. And, uh, yeah, we're, uh, we're trying something a little different, kind of bringing something back. But, uh, yeah, I've been legitimately on the fence about going into r slash am I the a-hole for a very long time now. So, uh... Hopefully you guys enjoy, you know what to do, do all the stuffs, and uh, I hope you guys have a fantastic day. First post comes to us from username only in Quebec 9 Am I the A4 telling my wife the lock on my daughter's door does not get removed until my brother-in-law and his daughter are out of our house? My brother-in-law, Sammy, lost his home shortly after his divorce 10 months ago. He moved in with us and brought his twin daughters, Olivia and Sloane 18. And with him a couple of months ago, his sister, my wife, and I have one daughter, Zoe, who's 16. And she and her cousins aren't close, but they get along fine. Olivia and Sloane have no respect for Zoe's privacy. None. They used to walk into a room and take things that they get their hands on. Makeup, phone accessories, clothes, school laptops, etc. Zoe complained a lot, and I've already asked the girls to respect Zoe's privacy and to stop taking things. My wife and Sammy saw no use with this. After all, they are girls in this typical teenage girl behavior. I completely disagreed. Last straw was when Zoe bought a $60 MAC makeup kit that looks like a paint set that she saved up for for over a month, and one of the girls, Sloane, took it without permission and ruined it by mixing the shades together while while using it. I don't know much about makeup, but that's what Zoe said when she found the kit on her bed and she was crying. I told my wife then she said she'd ask Sloane to apologize, but I got Zoe a lock after I found out that she was moving valuable belongings out of the house because of this incident. Sammy and his daughter saw the lock and weren't happy. The girls were extremely upset and Sammy asked about it and I straight up told him. He said, my daughters aren't thieves. It's normal that girls the same age borrow each other's stuff. He said Zoe could easily get another makeup kit for 15 bucks from Walmart and shouldn't even be buying expensive adult makeup stuff of in the first place and suggested my wife take care of this defect in Zoe's personality trying to appear older than she is. He accused me of being overprotective and babying Zoe with the level of enablement. I told him this is between me and my wife but she shamed me for putting a lock on Zoe's door for the cousins to see and preventing them from spending time with her, saying I was supposed to treat them like daughters, then demanded I remove it, but said this lock does not get removed until her brother and his daughters are out of our house. She got mad that I was implying we kick them out, and said her family will hate me for this. So I reminded her that I let Sammy and his family move in, which is something her own family refused to do so. She should start shaming her blaming them uh, for not taking their own son and niece's granddaughters in. If it wasn't for her family's unwillingness to help, we wouldn't be dealing with such disturbances at home. Everyone's been giving me and Zoe silent treatments, and my wife is very much upset over this. Yeah, this one's very much not a case of being the a-hole. You have your extended family coming in, and would you offer them a place for them to stay because of bad circumstances? And then they come in and the daughters are just being horrible pe- Like, I, I'm not- I, Horrible human beings, that's the word. Maybe instead of automatically assuming that something can just be found for $15 at Walmart, you ever come to think that maybe they had to put a lot of time and effort in order to make it so that they could get those things so that it does have some sort of sentimental value. So having your cousin come in and just ruin it really can bite. Am I the a-hole for yelling at my girlfriend to stop freaking eating? My M26 sister, F23, runs a bakery business and she has been struggling lately to keep up with orders because she has been short-staffed. She does a lot of orders of wedding cakes that require custard or marmalade fillings, and I offered to help her out by making these fillings at home and bringing them to her so she has less work to do. Unfortunately, the past four times I've made these fillings, my girlfriend, F24, has literally dipped her fingers into the filling jars 
and contaminated them because, in her words, she just wanted to try some. I've tried explaining to her that she can't dip her fingers in and contaminate the entire batch because then I have to remake it. I said that she could use a spoon and take some out if she wants to try it so bad, but she just pouts and says that she likes using her fingers because it takes her back to her childhood. Today, I was trying to finish some chocolate custard to send it over to my sister really fast because she was running late on a wedding cake order for an important client. I told my girlfriend beforehand to not eat the custard, and if she really wanted to, to please use a spoon. I get out of the shower, and what do I see? She has her fingers in it again. I totally lost it because this is the fifth time she blatantly disregarded what I said, and I yelled at her and told her to stop freaking eating the food I'm making because it's not for her and she is contaminating it. She started crying and got mad at me for fat shaming her, even though I made no comment on her weight and she has no history of weight issues or eating disorders. I know it was harsh, but she kept pushing my limits. Am I the a-hole? No, very much not. Very much not. You're, you're trying to help your sibling with her business, and then your girlfriend's coming in and contaminating it when very much you've given her multiple times a way for her to be able to try some of the custard without contaminating it, but for some reason the nostalgia factor of being a kid sticking your finger in a pot of something is very much the uh, thing that is ruining it all. There's very much a level of maturity to all of this that she really needs to understand is that this is an adult business. You can un I can understand enjoying something that you got to do as a kid, but if it gets in the way of people being able to do adult business kind of stuff, it's not good. Am I the antagonist for telling the cashier that wasn't the girl's credit card? Throw away because husband told me I was the a-hole and want to know before I get home and argue on phone format is bad. I was in a higher-end department store today, rhymes with this and uh, happened to end up next to two teenage girls while shopping. One of the girls had picked out a pair of very expensive boots and they were both fawning over them. The second girl must have looked at the price tag and asked the boots girl if she really wanted to spend that much on boots. The girl with boots says something along the lines of, it's fine, I have my dad's credit card and uh, so I'm not paying, which instantly caught my attention because that's not her card. I told my son multiple times that he is never allowed to use my card, and so I'm interested to see how this girl thinks that she is going to get away with fraud, but had to split up from the girl at this point because they had found something else. We ended up at the same register with me behind them, and I see her total hit well over four digits. The girl is about to swipe her card when I decide that I can't get let her get away with something like this, and someone has to parent this kid if no one else will. I tell the cashier that that isn't her card but her father's and I'm not sure if she has permission. The girl and friend turn and glare at me giving me possibly the dirtiest look I've ever seen. I swear this girl was going to throw a tantrum right there. I don't think she was ever told no. The girl tells the cashier that her father gave her the card to shop with it because it's the store's credit card and it gives him the points. Now that I've pointed out that it wasn't hers, the cashier tells her that she can't use that card. The girl tries to show ID to prove that they have the same last name, yeah that will help, and I tell her that it is still fraud. The girl says it's not fraud because she has permission and tells me to mind my own business. I tell her that it is my business, that she's doing something illegal and she needs to pay with her own card or I will call the cops. The girl is pissed now and people are glaring at me. She uses her own card and leaves crying. The cashier looks mad at me and I tell my husband when I get home only for him to agree that I was in the wrong. So Reddit, am I the a-hole? Oh yeah you is. Like the girl had stated, you were very much not minding your own business and I can tell you right now that if somebody's going to be dropping well over a grand on stuff with using somebody else's card, there's only two cases. They either stole it or they were given permission, and I guarantee you no kid is dumb enough to steal their parents' credit card and spend that kind of money unless they were given permission. So most likely that card wasn't stolen. But I can guarantee you if they did, there'd be one hell of a shit show waiting for them at home. Especially since most cards will give the person who owns the account a notification if a number above X amount has been spent on the card. So if they did happen to steal it, they weren't going to get away with it for long. 
Our next story comes from us from username Supermarket Flare 3341. Am I the A-hole for bringing up my brother's premature birth at Christmas dinner to get my parents to shut up? I am a nurse practitioner and I am the primary care director for a lot of the low risk maternity cases at the practice where I work. I also work hand in hand with the doctors and midwives to create a healthy maternity, birth, and postpartum situation. My fiance is completing her residency. We live together and have for a few years now. We aren't in any hurry to get married and we originally had plans to do so a couple of years ago, but then we got really busy for two years. It is driving my very religious parents crazy that their youngest son is living in sin. I really don't care though. I'm an adult and I do what I want. We are getting married in June. So we are visiting my parents for Christmas. The way it came together this year, everyone is at my parents' house. So that's my folks, my three siblings, myself, and my fiance and seven grandchildren. So 17 people. At dinner, my mom starts going on about how she is so glad that we are finally getting married and she won't be embarrassed at church anymore. And my dad says how proud he is of his three older kids who all either waited to get married before moving in together or got married right away after moving in together. My fiance was getting embarrassed and I was getting mad over this stupid argument we had too many times and a family dinner was the last straw. I have asked them repeatedly to just accept that they cannot control how I live my life. I refuse to stay with them when I visit, even when I come home, and hotels are just easier. So I started talking about a premature baby that I had been reading about. It was almost three months premature and weighed about 1.6 pounds. It was super strong and healthy for being born so little, and the NICU had high hopes for the baby doing well. My mom and dad both got deer in the headlights look on the faces, so too bad should not have screwed around with my fiance's feelings. So I asked about my older brother. He was born almost four months premature. Is there a chance that we could check out the family album where we kept all the records of the family births and stuff? I already know my brother was over nine pounds and almost 23 inches long when he was born. My grandmother told me all about it the first time my parents tried to shame me. The subject gets changed very fast. After supper, my parents told me that I should not try to embarrass them with private things that are not my concern. I told them that if I heard anything about my living arrangements ever again for the rest of my life, that I would make sure to keep bringing up the fact that my mom was in her second trimester when they got married. My parents are mad at me for telling them how to behave in their own home, but my fiance is happy that they seem to be off of the subject for good. Am I the a-hole? Uh-uh-uh. Family having said traditions and then getting upset at you for not following said traditions, meanwhile not probably realizing that having kids and being married and moving into the same place are kind of, uh, well, most of them are expensive. However, moving into a place with your significant other to split bills and such, that actually helps make things a little easier. God forbid it's not in a proper order like you want to. Our last story comes to us from username StarryGirl818. Am I the a-hole for pointing out to my friends that they are not famous? My friends are dating. They are also actors who have had small roles on a few TV shows. I'm talking two lines or less. I say this not to be a hater. I truly am rooting for them. But to give you a scope of their reach, neither of them have a following in real life or on social media. They've got under 1,500 followers combined. Anyways, last week I posted a group picture on Instagram of people celebrating a friend's birthday. Everyone in the photo has got their arms around each other's shoulders. Very platonic. Anyways, yesterday in the group chat between the three of us, they asked me to take the photo down because they don't want the public to know that they are dating. I would consider it if they looked bad or too sloppy drunk, etc., but they don't. Also, everyone has their arms around each other, not just them. Anyways, I asked what they meant and they said they didn't want to end up in gossip rag. I pointed out that they are not famous and that they don't even have a functioning IMDB pages. They were livid and called me a bunch of names. I think that they are delusional, but they've been texting me demanding it and even sent me screenshots of them reporting it. Nothing has happened. At this point, I don't even want to be their friend. However, and probably because I'm the A, 
a-hole, I don't want to delete it based solely on principle. Edit. So, okay, uh, many of you are right. I suppose I should separate how I feel about their ridiculous, delusional, or stupid reasonings with the fact that no one should have an image of themselves online that they don't want to be made public. I'll take it down. Yeah, unfortunately, even though it is for some really weird reason that people think that they're more famous than they actually are, you still have to kind of respect their wishes to not have this photo of them be up. It'd be really weird. But with that, that is going to have to be with the video. I very much would like to do more of these story time stuff with the Am I the A-Hole playlist. Because, uh, yeah, no, some of these very much you can guess from the get-go, whereas some of the other ones you kind of have to delve into whether or not who's in the right versus who's in the wrong. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this one, and if you want to see more like it, just leave a comment down below of something you liked in the video. And if you haven't already, subscribe, and I'll be sure to see you guys in the next one. Love you guys. Bye-bye.